Hello Shavasana fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my sense 3 minutes max. Uh, in our continuing series on passwords, and we are going to stop talking about them very soon, uh, we talked about the strength of passwords and how to create passwords and how to make them stronger and easier to remember, quite frankly. But one of the biggest rules of passwords, and many of you have heard this, is that you shouldn't reuse your passwords. In other words, you shouldn't use the same password across multiple different websites or credentialized logins. And this is very true, but then the question gets raised, how am I supposed to remember all of these passwords. It's ridiculous. I've got 30 websites. I can't possibly have a different password for all of these websites. And different people have different ways who actually do exercise different passwords uh, of remembering what these passwords might be. So people might use a password of, well, we'll say password, which you should never use, but uh, password Yahoo, password Gmail, password Hotmail. And, and so that's how they, they keep track of different passwords across different sites. But a better way to do that is through a program called a password manager. In a password manager, you need to remember one strong, long password, and that's it. The password manager will do everything else for you. The password manager will allow you to generate passwords randomly, and you get to dictate how these passwords look. Uh, are they one character set, two character set, three character set, four character set? Are they 10 characters, 15 characters, 20 characters, 28 characters? Right now, it is considered beyond the threshold of computing power today in, in, in any uh, setup to break a password that is over 28 characters long. Now, it's only a matter of time before that's going to change, but uh, password managers will allow you to generate these passwords. They'll keep track of the passwords across multiple different sites. And then you don't have to remember them all. All you have to do is remember the one password that gets, in, gets you into the password manager. You, some of these will also allow you to make little notes and keep those protected. A good password manager will log you in automatically to websites if that's what you want. Uh, password managers will work across multiple platforms. There's free versions, there's paid versions. And uh, in, in the next episode, we're going to talk about specifically one. We're going to talk about a password manager uh, called Dashlane. Now, it's not the only one, and depending who you talk to, it's not the best one. Uh, but it is one. Uh, it's the one I use, and I'm going to show it to you and give you an idea of some of the features uh, that are available to you. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.